Hello and welcome to our Global Investment Outlook for 2021. 2021 will be the year when COVID ends. Vaccines are a true game changer. They give us the tools, probably by mid next year, to control the pandemic. Growth will remain under pressure in early 2021, but economies will continue to recover at different speeds across regions. We see the US economy back to its pre-COVID levels in the second half of 2021 and in early 2022 for the Eurozone. But as we saw in Asia, with the right policy support, economic catch-up can be quick. That will drive a moderate recovery in inflation, but we don't think it limits central banks because of the sizable output gap, labor market slack, and little private demand for credit. Also, recent changes to inflation targeting let central bank keep their interest rate growth to zero, even when unemployment falls. Global trade should benefit the most next year, helped by COVID vaccines and improving international business conditions with a new US administration. This is a net positive for economies such as Asia or parts of Europe. There are still risks, of course, uncertainties over vaccines and any rise in the cost of capital would damage financial valuations. We also need to watch out for changes to stimulus once economies look stronger. Finally, the pandemic has massively increased debt in the global financial system. With rates near zero, the worry isn't whether that is sustainable, but rather how the debt is used. We hope that the answer is productively. For example, spending in innovation, infrastructure, and reducing inequalities. Let's now turn to Stefan to discover how we've positioned portfolios for 2021. We are entering 2021 with a number of new technical choices that will help our clients' portfolios benefit from the improvement in the business cycle that Samis just described. We have redeployed cash in several cyclical assets as follows. First, European stocks, including UK equities that could benefit from a Brexit deal. Second, global small and mid-cap equities. And finally, emerging market assets where we believe there are opportunities not only in equities, but also in bonds and select currencies. We also expect improving world trade and international business climate to translate into a weaker US dollar, even if its pace of depreciation should now slow down. At the same time, the risk that Sam is highlighted suggests caution. This is why we continue to actively manage our portfolio hedges with the US treasuries, Chinese debt, the yen and gold, all in place to shield portfolios from the volatility ahead. Finally, after this historic year of 2020, 2021 will mark the beginning of a new chapter in international relations. The US return to the world scene with a radically different leadership under Joe Biden will reconfigure geopolitical dynamics. A change in tone is likely to open a dialogue with China but it will not prevent the world's second largest economy from challenging the US global supremacy, especially now that China's pandemic recovery has reinforced its status as a superpower. That matters to markets because any shift in the balance of global leadership affects the opportunity set for investors. As we look ahead to the post-COVID world, we remain cautiously optimistic. The impact of the pandemic on our societies businesses and economies has driven profound transformation. As investors, we see many new opportunities opening up, especially as the world transition to a circular, lean, inclusive and clean economy. We wish you all a very happy, healthy and prosperous new year. And thank you very much for watching.